Hey all, welcome to Waparka's Reef Product Spotlight, where today we're going to be taking a look at the latest in salt technology from Aquaforest with their Hybrid Pro Salt. All right, welcome to another product spotlight brought to you by Aquaristic Online. Today we're looking at the brand new salt from Aquaforest, their Hybrid Pro Salt. This is their most advanced salt to date, bridging the gap between natural salt water and artificial salt water. And we'll go into some of the specifics soon, but I just wanted to point out one of the things that drew me to this product as soon as I heard it was announced. And it's that beautiful picture on the front of the bucket, which was taken by yours truly. It is a picture of a Pikachu Aquapora that I took a photo of whilst touring Aquamarine Aquaristic in Melbourne here. A huge shout out to Jono and Jacob there. And it's really cool to see my pictures getting not only featured in the Aquaforest calendar, but also then making their way onto some of their products. This joins a long line of some of my other photos and their products, and it puts a smile on my face every time I see their products in a local fish store. All right, enough of the self-indulgence on the picture on the front. I did touch on the fact that this is bridging the gap between natural salt water and artificial salt water. And I can tell you that Aquaforest have done that by making a chemically pure lab created salt that utilizes natural salt flakes. Then what they've gone and done is added a probiotic to this salt, which is going to naturally reduce your phosphates and nitrates, which is gonna help bring out the most intense color in all of your corals, especially your SBS. Now what Aquaforest have also done after touring some of the most thriving reefs in the world, taking water samples to go back to their ICP machine and having a look at all the different elements, quickly realize that in our closed ecosystem at home, in our very humble reef tank, we do consume some trace elements much quicker than we are supplementing them in. So what they've done, particularly with things like iodine and strontium in this salt, they've slightly elevated them just to help offset that, that a little bit because our tanks do tend to consume them quite quickly. So by elevating them a little bit to begin with, it's just gonna help keep things in balance a lot easier. Now, one other thing I should touch on just before we mix up a sample of this salt is every single batch of Aquaforest salts, whether it's their reef salt, their probiotic, their hybrid pro salt, or any of their other range, every single one of them has an ICP batch number on it where you can jump onto their website, put that batch number in, and it'll give you the ICP results for that salt so you know exactly what you're adding to your tank. Or you can check the salt for those trace elements before you even add it to your reef tank. Something that gets overlooked way too often in my opinion, be sure to take advantage of that free ICP so you know exactly what you're adding to your reef tank before you add it. All right, now to give a quick demonstration on how to go about mixing the hybrid pro salt, I've come up with a little bit of an overkill setup here. I've got 40 liters of RO DI water with a heater in there set to 24 degrees Celsius, and I've got a wave maker on the side of you, just keeping that water agitated. Now, because I want to mix this salt to a specific gravity of 1.026, the handy information on the Aquaforest Hybrid Pro Salt tells me I need to mix 415 grams per 10 liters. Now, if I've done my maths right, that means for 40 liters, I need 1.66 kilos of salt. So I've gone and pre-measured out 1.66 kilos of salt here, and I'm gonna just gently tip that in, aiming it towards the wave maker just so it helps get it dissipated out through that water as quickly as possible. Now the instructions do say this should mix for about 15 minutes. My water's probably just a touch shy of 24 degrees, so I might give it about half an hour, and then it should be good to go. All right, 15 minutes of mixing has passed and you can see the Aquaforest Hybrid Pro Salt has mixed into a crystal clear blend. Absolutely no residue left in this mixing vessel whatsoever. I have measured the salinity with my digital refractima and I'm happy to say that the instructions were spot on because it has come up to be exactly 1.026 specific gravity. So this blend is now ready to perform a water change on my reef tank. 
Now, just before I wrap things up, I should touch on one other salt that Aquaforest have brought out in line with this Hybrid Pro Salt. That is their Reef Salt Plus, which also features a picture from yours truly, a picture you might be more familiar with if you're a regular viewer of my channel. Now, that salt is really designed for people that either have heavily stocked aquariums or people that are doing frequent small water changes as it has elevated alkalinity, calcium and magnesium. I would not recommend doing large water changes with it, but if you were doing frequent small water changes that's going to help keep those elements balanced and right at the levels where you want them rather than having to dose heavily on those three elements plus those trace elements like the iodine and strontium that we touched on with the hybrid pro salt all right guys i will wrap things up there i'd like to give a huge shout out to aquaristic online for making this video possible please do jump on their website to check out their huge range of salts or of course head on in store and talk to the team to find out which brand or which type of salt is going to be the best for you and your reef tank. They've got some of Australia's best prices and one of the hugest ranges I've come across, so you won't be disappointed at all. Anyway, guys, I will leave you with it at that. Any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. But till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.